Hello subscribers and thanks for sticking with us on our adventures. This time on Sailing Intermission we actually got out of the marina but probably not the way you would have expected us to. Made it to a uh, island just off of the coast and had a great time. Saw some really cool birds. They were really flying. And I almost got blown away with the wind. And we met someone on what we thought was a deserted island. And you know, we did some dancing. I know you can't believe your eyes. Steve is at the helm of a pontoon boat, but we are leaving the marina. Here we go, finally getting out. <laughs> and In our new dinghy. <laughs> this is not our new dinghy. I don't believe our davits could handle this one. <laughs> But we had to get out. Yeah, we're determined to go to this little island over there. And guess what? Despite spending 850 bucks on our Mercury 9.9, .9, getting the car rebuilt, and all this other stuff, it won't start. <laughs> so we're like, okay, we're probably going to have to buy a new outboard. Boater's life. But we decided to rent, we got a deal on a, a rental on one of these pontoon boats. Kind of fun. We'll see. Well, that looks like fun, sailing. We'll get there one day. We saw the channel markers. This would be actually the way we would go with Isabella, taking a right. There's our destination for today, the nice little island. And we have to go around to the other side where it's a little more protected. Hey. We're out of the marina. Yay. <laughs> you know, we had to rent the freaking boat to do it. But we were determined to come out to this island. And uh, uh, as we already explained, uh, despite spending money on our Mercury 9.9 .9 outboard, it wouldn't start. It wouldn't start yesterday, the day before today. So we got a deal on, on renting a pontoon boat. It's kind of fun. Uh, has a 90 horse engine on it. Not huge, but you know, it gets up and moves. And you don't have to worry about the draft. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, uh, of course, Isabella has really loaded a uh, seven foot draft on it. And where we're at, uh, it's not overly deep. So in that boat, we'll have to be a little more careful. It's really nice to finally get out, even though it's a pontoon boat. And this island is fairly interesting. There's quite a bit of cactus out here and some palm trees. There's a beach somewhere. I think it's on the other side. And we may explore that or not. I don't know. Well, and uh, our plan is to finally get out of the marina that we're at on Friday. Today is Wednesday, and uh, hopefully it'll happen tomorrow. There's supposed to be thunderstorms. We, we don't want to do that, but we think Friday looks okay, a little windy. Uh, of course, Isabella's a, a relatively heavy boat. Um, we have 150 horsepower, Cummings diesel on it. Uh, the boat, it, it's weighing in. I don't know, between 40 and 50,000 pounds. We recently found out the light displacement was somewhere around 40,000 pounds. But you know, by the time we carry a ton of water, 2,000 pounds of water, that sort of thing, uh, you know, we're at least 45,000 pounds. Hopefully, we won't get knocked around too much. Should be interesting. Uh, yes. And so, of course, we try to post these videos on Friday. We may well post this without footage on moving Isabella. Or we might. Who knows? <laughs> I guess if you're watching this, you probably know whether that's happened or not. But we, are, we don't know yet. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. I think we should have a glass of wine or something. I like that, and I can get that. Okay. Our trusty Yeti. 
We won't tell you what time it is. It's five o'clock somewhere. Look how fancy. Karen is always so organized. She brought some refreshments, some cheese, some crackers, some grapes, and we plan on doing some partying on the side. Here's the life outside a marina. <laughs> Nothing but the finest plastic <laughs> water glasses we're using as a wine glass. It is a very windy day out here. It is. It was kind of blowing the pontoon boat around, you know. It was kind of doing this stuff. It would have been interesting in the dinghy. It would have, but I'd rather have been in our own dinghy. Uh, you and me both. I think it's a, it's a rigid bottom inflatable West Marine. They still sell it. It's like an RV 350 or something. Uh, they retail about 3K. Uh, it's 11 and a half foot. We've got that 9.9 .9 on it. It comes up on plane pretty good with two people. I don't know about two people and a bunch of gear though. If we buy a new one, we buy the airtime getting a 15 horse. I'm really bummed about not being able to uh, get that outboard started. Um, we cleaned the dinghy. It has a nice little watertight compartment. We found yeah. some goodies in there, a repair kit, an anchor pump, um, in case you lose some air. And it was all ready to go. Don't, don't have to worry about how deep the water is in that, so. Let's go explore the island. Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name's Lindsay. Hi, Lindsay. <laughs> it's Karen and Steve. Hey, what's up? So, um, I... I go to college in Gainesville, but in the summertime, I actually guide kayaking in the Kenai Fjords in Alaska. Oh, wow. So uh, there's a pretty rough headwind out here today, but I'm used to it. I'm a professional, so I still got soaked. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, that's fascinating. I made it to the island, yeah. and I saw a dolphin, so oh, cool. it wasn't a waste. There's a bunch of horseshoe crabs over there. Yeah. I, like those. I heard uh, horseshoe crabs are actually considered living fossils because they've actually, uh, they haven't evolved for like millions of years. Wow. So, one of cool. the only species that hasn't evolved like that. They're pretty cool looking. Yeah. Well, thanks for letting us put you on yeah, our channel. thank you. Yeah, and good <laughs> luck and how fascinating. Thank you so much. Yeah. It's nice meeting you guys. Nice meeting you too.
sailing went sunny instead. Karen is helping the, I believe they're called Limulus Polyphemus horseshoe crab back to the water. She's so good. I thought it was a goner, but Umbrella as a sailor. 